peeps hello 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 so i gotta say this because there's a bunch of creeps out there that are making fake accounts of me um i only have two youtube channels hello hello one handle is at candace star it has a hundred over 100k followers um the other the second channel is candace star 2 and the at sign is candace star 2 there's no dots there's no commas there's no extra r's it's k-a-n-d-i-s-s-t-a-r-r -S -S -R. that's it and then for the second channel it's with the two next to it um that channel has over 10k followers and i have one one tiktok account and that's at candace star um with over 100k followers there are people that are scamming my babes where they're pretending that i'm contacting them uh, my babes know I don't contact nobody. The only place you can find to get a personal reading with me is on my main channel. And if you go to, if you press my name, boop, Candace Star, it will take you to my main page. If you look right under the banner, um, where it says, uh, Paranormal Justice, something like that, right? Um, it says bookings and donations. That's the only place you can find how to set up a reading with me, okay? So now that we got that out of the way, today is the second part, part two of Nick Godajan's, um spiritual reading of his uh, interrogation. I do have the ovulus here, and I'm just going to put it on. If we get something, we get something. If we don't, we don't. I'm not really worried about it. Um, that is just... Hold on. Let it come in. Hold on. Ooh, look at that. So this is handmade. Um, you can order this, Ovulus, off of eBay. I'll put the link in the comments and pin it to the top. And this is what I spiritually got, okay? And I actually got a heavy, heavy duty message of um, dark magic, okay? So let's get into it. I start at 16 minutes because the first part one was one minute to 16 minutes. This is 16 minutes to 28 minutes, okay? I do have the fan on, so magic <laughs> okay i'm sorry i'm sorry i'm sorry so um nick says the 10th is when i was able to get to her um to meet me when i was able to get her to meet me so he's saying on the 10th which does show correct with the text messages um she didn't meet him until the 10th well Didi's death date we already know is the 9th allegedly right so, um, then he says, he texts her the room number, right? And she, like, ghosted him. So, on the 10th, there's a long gap of a few hours that Gypsy is not contactable, right? Um, she ghosted him. It left him confused. And he says that when they were texting, it wasn't actually through the phone messages that we all have, right? It's actually through her Yahoo account. Okay. Um... So next, it's saying he gets tired of waiting for her, right? And he walks out the hotel room and bumps into her. Well, that's a lie. And the lie is that he's, he's trying to separate Gypsy from the crime scene, okay? So we already call him in two lies um, on the first interview, right? So this is the third lie, Um lie separating gypsy from the crime she already has her bags he says which we know that's a lie um because they they took it into the cab right um she packed she, she claims he made her she claims he packed the clothes he wanted for her and he claims she packed her own bags um but in the beginning of gypsy rose's interrogation she does mention about her bags already being packed and waiting for him. So it, you, make sure you watch all the parts. It's it's a long series, but it's really worth the knowledge, okay? Um, she says she packs it. So he brought her bags to the room. That's what he's saying, okay? So he's saying that she showed up with the bags, and then he was like, oh, you got bags? Well, give me the bags. I'll take them to the room, right? Um, then... Uh, oh, yeah, he mentions being kicked out, right? So again, that whole, my mom kicked me out on the 7th because, oh, I'm sorry, because of a fight, right? They mention a fight. Well, Gypsy mentions getting into a, a big altercation, a big fight with her mom on the 7th right and being kicked out and having to sleep on the on the porch with the bugs and pee in the bush and 
I don't buy that. I believe something happened on the 7th, and I believe I catch it down here, okay? I believe that Gypsy had her mom tied to that bed from the 7th. She may have not been poking her yet, but she, but she definitely was abusing her while Dee Dee allegedly was tied to the bed. Not Gypsy. Dee Dee. Listen, the only way she could have moved around like this, right? Talk about, oh, I was kicked out. No, you were moving around because Dee Dee couldn't get to the door, nor a phone. Okay? Um, because she was, we saw the positions of her hands. We, we saw the coagulation and all of that. We saw it all. Okay? Most of the videos have been removed, but we saw it. And if you want to see it, just go to um, my community tab, right? And scroll down to where you see happy birthday, Gypsy. Press that link and you'll see the whole crime scene, okay? Um, so the only way she could, Gypsy would be able to move around like this, according to Gypsy saying how overprotective she was and how sheltered she was, um, would have to be if Gypsy was either gone or already hurt. And I think she was already hurt, okay? very badly um my opinion not facts uh they stayed in the room and he paid again separating gypsy from the crime because we know she paid with Dee Dee's money right oh i forgot to turn this on shoot well hopefully spirit has been listening let's see so he paid again i'm not going to really pay attention to this i'm just going to let it ride um Maybe I will pay attention to it. I don't know. Look, so separating her from the crime. Now, this whole next piece from Hopeful. Oh, good, Diddy. This is the whole point of it. Okay, so can you see that? Let me try to, like, touch it so it, like, zooms in on that. Romantic. Oh, my. Well, we get to that part, Diddy. We get to that part. So, from here down to here down see this is gonna a vice a vice was used oh my god i told you the handcuffs mm -hmm. okay um so before i get into this i just want to see a plant yeah i just showed on my tiktok go visit my tiktok how i can prove that gypsy was a plant 100 percent. i cannot read that for some reason Git, I don't know what git is. In the, in the, it's backwards here. It looks like tie. Like T-I-E, like tied up. Um, so the detective at 21 minutes, right? Sex, I knew it. I knew it. I knew it. I knew it. It was Gypsy having on a bed with her body. Mel. So Mel, I heard... That Mel is Christie's cousin? I don't know. I don't. I don't follow their everyday life crap. I follow um, rement. Re I gotta look that word up. I don't know what that is. Rement. Um, so I heard that. Oh, hold on. Wrench. More like wench. Oh, <laughs> a wrench. Like, to make things tighter. <gasps> Alright, just one more, and then I'll turn it off. A twin. The twin knives. I did an ITC, remember, before anybody was talking about two sets of knives. Holy crap, there was two of them. I circled two knives in the, in the thing. Killer. Oh, I told you. I told you. Oh, my God. Or she's killed twice. Purple. My favorite color. Amethyst. All right, let's turn this off just for a minute so I could concentrate. That was crazy. Oh my god. Okay, so I'm gonna put the link for this um down below as well. So at 21 minutes, the detective starts. Remember how when we were going over Gypsy's interrogation, and I was like, hey, this cop is leading her to push it all on him i know he forced you to do this and you know have your mom kill i know he forced you and she's like oh yeah right yeah 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 yeah. that's it that's it right 
well, this detective, this woman detective, she says, I think you love Gypsy. Um, I'm sorry. I think Gypsy loves you more than you love her. Uh, did you watch that interrogation? Because I did. <laughs> um, you're telling me lies and she's telling me the truth. Okay. Um, this is literally weaponized reverse psychology. 100%. There's no ifs, ands, or buts about it. It is what it is. This is weaponized reverse psychology. What this detective is doing to Nick at this point in time. If you love her, you're not going to let uh, Gypsy get in trouble. Whoa. Did you just say take the whole damn fall? Mm-hmm. You did. Um, I feel this is absolutely absurd. Just totally wow i can't believe this right um especially since we all know that gypsy's interview i'm sorry interrogation was all lies that the whole series i have is her lies that i'm telling you that it was a lie this was a lie this was a lie this was a lie this now that we can look back at it right do the honorable thing for gypsy what that says take the fall. Don't let her get in trouble. You you do the time for this, okay? Now she's telling to start over and rewrite the truth. Now she's telling him, start over and rewrite the truth. Just like the other detective was telling Gypsy. No, no, we got to rewrite the truth. You have a chance to rewrite this truth. How do you rewrite truth? No, you rewrite lies to look like the truth. A plan. Watch my TikTok. I just posted it. Insanity. What I'm seeing is insane. It's insane. Most of it was the truth. She um that's what he says. Most of it was the truth. What are you talking about? She told us about everything. He's like, ah. So this tell me, I feel like that was like a code. So if they say I tell you everything that I told everything, just know, go to plan C. She talks about how well she planned everything, right? She planned how to do it, where to do it, when to do it, what to say, okay? How to say it, what story to stick to. If this story don't work out, go to this story. She planned it all. Um... Do the right thing for Gypsy if you love her. And at that moment, I was consumed with the energy. This man is under a spell, like a very high-ranking spell, not a spell that a newbie can do. This is something that somebody is really into this stuff, knows what the hell they're doing, and she, like... That's what that tongue thing was about. That whole story about her making up about um, her mom put a tongue in a... No, you did that, Gypsy. Keep it a buck. You did that. You're the only one practicing dark magic. You did that. You're the only one that shows that dark aura, especially in 2015. Okay, you could do all you want to try to look like me and, and, and dress like me. and You, you could do it all. But you'll never be me because my soul is clean. Your soul is gone. Mm. So anyways, let's keep going. <sighs> Most of it was the truth. She told us about everything. Ah, uh, plan A to plan B. Do the right thing for Gypsy if you truly love her. The truth is, so right after I feel this, I pause this and I write this. And right after I feel this, his next words are the truth is I worship her this is black magic this is some heavy heavy very high ranking black magic okay um he's under a very high ranking spell newbies cannot cast this type of spells so then she goes on so prove that you worship her whoa because this isn't fair to gypsy whoa Really? What fucking universe are we in? What? Uh, 
did Gypsy know you were going to unalive her mother? Honestly, she asked me to do it. Why would she ask you to do it? Because she wanted to be with me. Not because she was being abused. Not because she was forced to be in a wheelchair. Not because she got free traps. Not because of any of that. Because she wanted to be. She was an adult that was a nympho. Just my observation. Okay? Um, talking about, I've only been with two people. How am I a bop? Girl. <laughs> In 22 years, I had a seven-year relationship. I was with one man. 15 years. Another relationship. One man. I had two people in 22 years. Girl, you did it in six months. You were Bob. <laughs> so. So she could be with me. She wanted the D. She's an out of control. Nympho adult. Because guys. She was literally. One month shy of 24 years old. She's a complete adult. That was playing on the heartstrings of everybody out there that believes her and she's still doing it this is a cold-blooded murderer my opinion uh i did stab her mom i admit it i only did it for me and her to be together again what he said to be together i was like oh this feels like a freaking spell then he says because i worship her then i wrote spell bond spell bond then, this is the part, I'm at the part right here, where I catch, ooh, just listen, she asked him a question, and he says, first she wanted to do it herself, and he pauses and he starts thinking, so first, she did it herself, right, her and the guy, she asked him, hey, can he come over one last time so we could, right, so we know on the 7th that she brings somebody there. And that's where this fight started. Okay. This is what first happened. What first happened. First, she wanted, right, to do this herself. Right. And then he thinks for a while and then he starts saying, but she felt too squeamish to do it. Remember, she tried to use that excuse because this is part of the plan, right? This is what she's telling him to say already before they got caught, right? It's part of the script that we've been talking about for over a month now, right? She's so squeamish, but she could shoot her mom with a BB gun. She's so squeamish, but she could clean up blood naked. No. First, she did it herself. But it didn't happen fast enough. Watch. So, did she stop? Wait, wait, wait. So, that's what I said. When it says, first, she wanted to do this herself. Long pause. But felt squeamish. I wrote, so did she do it? So, did she stop? Like, okay, I started this. But I don't want to go down for this. You know? <laughs> um, then... Bring him in to finish it. Mm -hmm. Because listen, squeamish but clean the blood. Um, her getting shot. Right. Why did you. Hold on. Why did you. Uh oh, I don't know what I wrote. Hold on. Why did you force her? We didn't know. Hold on. How to. Oh, why didn't you poison her? Right. It says, why didn't you poison her, right? Because remember, Gypsy's first thing is said, we were going to poison her, right? And now he's saying, oh, uh, we were going to do poison, right? So what I'm thinking is part of this first act. Remember, she says, the actual thing, the actual act of the crime, the actual. So if there's an actual, what else is there? There's something else for it to become the actual, right? It's that first she wanted, right? So, it goes into, why, did, why didn't you poison her? We didn't know how. But then, as soon as he says, we didn't know how, 
Then he, the next sentence out of his mouth is, she looked it up multiple times. So, hello. She didn't know how, but she read all about it. <laughs> okay. Um, was Gypsy slowly poisoning her? Um, this is what I wrote right after he says that about the multiple times, looking it up. Was Gypsy slowly poisoning her just like her step-grandma? Mm-hmm. But it wasn't fast enough, right? She wanted her mom's death to be quick for the D. She, she needed these men. She needed it, right? She's craving it, right? Literally, right after that, okay, wait, wait, wait. She's, he, he says she chose the knife. She says in the trial, he chose the knife. Um, and then she bought it for, so he then says before that part, he says, um, he want, she needed it to be quick. She wanted it to be quick. She wanted it to be quick because the poison wasn't working. Slowly poisoning somebody takes time. It's not going to happen in, in a couple of days, right? Um, unless you, like, really OD on it, right? Um, that's why she needed him. It wasn't working. She had her in the bed. She probably mixing up different medicines and stuff, giving it to her. Did my eyelashes come off? No. Um, so, yeah, I, I truly feel... Like, this little part right here shows me a few things. It shows me, number one, Gypsy was really highly into dark magic and probably knows other people that are into it because you don't just gain that information, okay? Two, that um, there was something else that happened with her saying the actual act and him saying, well, first, <laughs> you know, she was going to do it, right, but she couldn't go through with it why she didn't want to, she didn't want to she didn't want to be the one to have actually killed her right she needs a fall guy nick was framed from the beginning to this is so premeditated this was years work of planning okay she has no talents no talents okay what's her talent tell me she's a planner okay she planned this in depth this was so planned out she's a planner Okay, she comes out of jail and already has 10 million followers, right, on TikTok, right? That's crazy. Why? Because I could prove she's a plant just with that. I feel that was all bought and paid for by her PR team. Her PR team got all them 10, 000, 10 million um, subscribers to go to her channel. Because you have talent like Mariah Carey, right, who has been working on her craft and her her vocal training and you know her skill every day day and night for damn there her whole life and don't even have 10 million followers it's a plan what's the agenda children you can do this don't worry you'll be famous afterwards don't worry kids you could be just like gypsy because she's such a great role model she's a truth seeker She's going to help all the victims. I don't want her help. She triggers me. She, she triggers me. I was a victim. I am a survivor of every single fucking thing you could think of. I would never, ever want Chipsy's help with anything. I don't want to land up in prison. Hello. <laughs> I love you, babes.